Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of the 923 podcast. Hope you guys had a great week. Um, on today's podcast, we're going to be I'm going to be sharing three things I think every young person needs to hear, including myself. I constantly need to remind myself of these three things every time, even when I'm like going astray because I still do go astray certain times, you know. Um these are things that I tell my younger self if I had the chance to meet my 16-year-old self or my 17-year-old self. I uh, would, um, yeah, these are like things I would like to share even to my 15-year-old self. So, yeah. Um, so, let me tell you these things, you know. The first is there is no divine orchestration. You see, um... Sometimes, yeah, sometimes some people have this feeling that there's some kind of divine orchestration waiting for them to hit a certain point or get to a certain level or be a certain kind of person before the orchestration kicks in and saves them from from themselves. There is no divine orchestration. There is none. There is none. You see, with life, it is, it is, it is, your, it is your hands you use to write your own script. This is your own script. You write your own script by yourself. You know. You don't wait for some divine orchestration because they said somebody has said, ah, you're going to be a great man or you're going to be a great woman. You latch onto that and feel, oh, since they said it, something will happen someday that will just kickstart me into becoming a great man or great woman. But you see, that day is never going to come. And if you keep thinking like that, nothing is going to happen actually for you. God forbid. Which is the thing is you should take initiative and take action and total responsibility for your life and say, okay, fuck it. This is my life. Um, if it goes sideways, it's on me. If it doesn't go sideways, it's still on me. So all the decisions that you have made have brought you to this point. This, your actions is the divine orchestration. If 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 I would put it like that, your action is the divine orchestr- uh, divine orchestration. But like, listen, see, I do believe in um. Um, um, destiny, I do believe in purpose I do believe in all these things but I believe that you have a certain role to play you're, you're, you're like, God is just guiding you know, God is just guiding you to put you in line, you know um, but then, you still have to take action you still have to take action, if you're standing on one place, waiting for something to happen nothing is going to happen to you, you feel me so, what you have to do here yeah, is like, keep that, keep it in your mind you know, that okay, look this is my life you're talking about here. I'm not going to wait for anybody or looking for anybody to write it for me. This is my life. You know? Because, like, I think a lot of these things stems from the fact that we've seen um, internet stories of people saying, oh, look, I used to be down bad. I used to be this. I used to be that. I used to be this. I used to be that. They were, like, we want their stories to be like our own. We want our own stories to be like their own. So we say, okay, in our minds, we'll be like, okay, see, let me wait till I'm fed up. Then I'll quit all the addictions or I'll quit everything. Automatically, this change to just come. But like, it's not like that actually because no two person's story are the same. No, pe- no two person's fingerprints are the same. So you can't expect somebody's story to be like yours, even if you're going through the same thing. You feel me? I mean, you can learn from them, but then your story cannot be like their own. I think I'm getting off point here. But what I'm trying to say is that there is no defined orchestration. Orchestration, rather. What you have to do is you need to take your life into your own hands. You need to take your life into your own hands and do something about your situation. If you want to get good grades, do something about it. If you want to do something, do something about it. You have a goal, right? Say you want to become this, say you want to become that. Put your mind on that goal and actually work towards that goal. Like, that's just it. That's for the first one. The second one is, it doesn't get easier. You get stronger. Look, earlier this year, right, when I started going to the gym, I used to have trouble lifting 50 kilograms. 50 kilograms, right? I used to have struggle. I used to I used to have um, a problem. No, I used to have struggle. <laughs> I used to have a problem with lifting 50 kilograms, right? And any time I tried to lift it, it's as if I'm stretching a part of my leg. Like, I don't know how to describe the feeling. I was just stre- Like, a muscle in my leg was stretching. So it was just like, okay, guy, I don't think I'm strong enough or I wasn't positioning my body well enough. But then I didn't think I was strong enough to be benching 50 kilograms, right? Then all of a sudden, I got stronger. 
by lifting other weights. I'll be lifting other weights. I'll be trying this. All of a sudden, I got stronger because based on the actions I have been taking, right? I got stronger, yeah? Then, I now, I can bench the 50 kilograms without a problem now. It's not like I can, I can like, like it's easy. It's not like it's easy. It's still heavy. But the thing is, 50 kilograms in August is still 50 kilograms in September. In September, October, November, December, even 50 years from now, 50 kilograms will still be 50 kilograms. It's not going to change. Pro um, external problems don't have a way of increasing. They don't have a way. They, are still, they will still be what they will be. You feel me? Come 50 years from now, that 50 kilograms will still be 50 kilograms. But the thing is, I'll either get stronger or I'll get weaker. That's the thing. Problems will either rise to the level of the problem or above it or you fall below it. That's just it. There is no in between. You either rise to the level of the problem or you fall below it. You fall below it. There is no average. You're either equal to the tax or you're not equal to the tax. Now, if you take a look at your assignment questions when you were still in like primary school, right? You find out that you'll be surprised how these things would have been giving you so much headache back then. But now it looks so easy. It looks so, so easy. How would I, how would I put this thing? There's a word that's coming to my mind right now. Uh, how would I say it? Um, capacity must match tax. Yes. Capacity must match tax. If, it is a, if your capacity is above it, then you see that there will be a left certain level of bottom. It will be too easy. But if it's like above it, you must grow to the level because we humans have the ability of growing. Our external problems don't have the ability of growing. We humans can grow. We can improve ourselves. We can get stronger, wiser, faster. There was something Jim Rohn said. Jim Rohn says that winter always comes. They have always been coming. So you can get stronger, wiser, and faster. Then the third thing, the third thing is, all you have is now. As Buddha will say, Buddha will say the past is a myth, the present, uh, the future is a myth. All you have is now. You don't have 50 years, you have now. Always now. That's all you have right now. This, the actions you take now, like, extend it over a long period of time. You see the result, but it's now is the most important time. Now, now, now. I heard that there's a Chinese proverb say the best time to plant a tree was twenty five years ago. The second time is now. Second best time is now. Is now. See, see, ten years will come and will go, right? Ten years will come and will go, and you still like you 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 won't even know. You won't even know that ten years has come and gone. You see, like, there's there's a lot to say, really. There's a lot to say. But then, all you have is now. That's all you have. So just do your best to be present. Do your very best to be present at each and every moment in time. Thank you so, so much for listening. I really appreciate you. Hope you guys, I wish you guys a very good week. Um, Bye. Thank you so much for listening, man. It means a lot to me. Thanks. Bye.